This video will walk you through the tutorial 9.1. And we're going to begin by downloading the starting project by clicking this link. Once we download it, you're going to see the coin top toss zip file. Right click it to extract all. And then open the solution. And I'm just going to uncheck this and say OK. OK, so I have already uh, completed this project, so I don't have to type some of these things. And I'm going to have it opened here to the bottom right. And here I'm going to show you how to complete it. So the first thing that we need to do is on the project tab, we're going to click this. We're going to add, click add class. We're going to make sure that the class is selected and we're going to change the name here to coin.cs. So that's going to be the name of my class. And I'm just going to click add and that's going to add this coin.cs class here now to my project. I need to type up the code that is going to define my class. So the, the, cla the, the code I have here, I'm just going to copy paste it so I don't have to type it. So this is basically what's, what defines the class. So let's examine. So the name of the, it's a, it is in a namespace named coin toss. The name of the class is coin. We're making a variable called side up, which is going to be a, you know, a field for this class and um, another random variable rand which we're going to use to make random numbers later on so the string of this class is either going to be heads or it's going to be tails initially when we make a new coin class object we are going to set the 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 string variable side up to heads, right? So as soon as we make a new a new coin, it is going to be set to heads, and then after that, if we want to change it at any point, what we're going to do is we're going to do a toss. So this method toss, what it does is when we call this method, all it does is it generates a random number between zero and one. And depending on what that random number is, it changes the variable side up to either heads or tails. So that's that's basically all, all this class is doing. Uh, and then we also have a method named get side up, which returns a string. We need this method because this is a private field, private variable. We cannot access it from the outside from any other class unless we provide these public methods to access the private variable. Okay, so this is basically the definition of my coin class. And uh, now the next thing that we need to do is we're going to go ahead and create a click event handler for the button for the form. So we're going to open up the form and we're going to double click the toss button and then the toss button is we're going to add the following code so you can see the code here i'm just going to copy paste it so i don't have to write it so what's going to happen when we click click the toss but toss button is we're going to create a new coin as soon as we create a new coin like so here that evokes my default constructor and sets the side up to heads so that's the first thing that I do. I make a coin object, my coin, and have it set its variable. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to clear the list box, which is this here. I'm going to clear this. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a loop that happens five times. And I'm going to toss a coin every time. So I'm going to make my, toy, my coin change every time I go through the loop. And every time I change the coin, I'm going to show you the value of that coin using the get side up. So these are all the methods that I defined. And uh, 
one last thing I need to do is to add an exit and the exit is just your usual disclose and that's basically all there is and at this point we can run the program and you will be able to see if I had toss five it generates five random and then another five random and so on.